Hi, carrying a sea kayak can be tiring and put a bit of a strain on your arms and your back, even if you've got a companion to help you with the boat or if you've got a trolley or a cart to put the boat on. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use a couple of cheap, easy accessories just to help take more of the weight, to take some of the strain off my arms and to leave me with more energy in my arms for paddling, which of course is what I'm there for. First, I'm going to show you how I use this plastic hook and adjustable strap to help carry the boat. This is actually a very handy multi-use accessory that I use also with uh, things like my bike. The second thing I'm going to show you is how I use this piece of spare line, which I usually carry with me on deck for a variety of purposes, to achieve the same end. So, let's go outside now and I'll show you on my boat how I use these two things. First I'm going to show you how I use the hook and strap. I adjust it so that when it's over my shoulder, the hook's level with my hand. Then on my boat, with the carrying strap, I just hook through it, lift, and then I can free up my hands if needed. Most boats have toggles for lifting. So I've attached one here for demonstration purposes. Here I would just put the hook straight through the toggle straps or lines. Then I can just put my hand on the toggle and lift. Now if it's a composite or a glass fiber boat, it's better to support the boat underneath the hull just in case the toggle line should snap and then the boat will drop and get damaged. In that case, what I would do is just shorten up the strap quite a lot. Then I'd put the hook through the toggle lines as usual, but I can reach down to put my hand underneath the hull. And when I lift, then I can still put some weight onto the hook and the strap so that I can free up my hands, but still support uh, the boat. In this piece of line, I've tied a knot near the ends so that there's a loop to put my hands in. There's a loop at the other end, which I'm going to put onto the toggle or around the boat. Then I pass the loop in the middle of the line through the toggle lines and then underneath the front of the boat. And I take it well back. Then I put my hand through the other end so that the knot is up against my hand. I take it around my back and over my shoulder. And then I can push with this other hand then my hand on the lifting side can support the hull of the boat, but isn't taking all the weight. Then if I need to, I can free up this hand to do other things like open gates or whatever. Of course, with this line, if you're happy to carry the boat just by the toggle, then you just need to put the loop around the toggle itself, pull it tight and lift the line over your shoulder like you did before and just carry it by the toggle, but supported by the line and pushing down on the other hand. For this hook and strap, the plastic hooks are made for securing the lids of lobster pots and crab pots. They're known here in the UK as creel hooks and they're available from commercial fishing suppliers. I've linked to a couple of sites in the description below and this is a very useful multi-use accessory. Um, among the other uses I find for this are lifting a bike up and down stairs and I've made a separate video about that which I'll link to at the end of this one and in the description below. The strap is just a standard luggage tie-down strap that you'd use on top of a car for boats or a surfboard or so on. Two and a half meter to three meter length I find is quite enough. So if you found this video useful then please give it um, a like and if you've got any questions, then please put them in the comments below and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. In the meantime, thank you for watching.